One possibility for the origin of the eukaryotic nucleus is that of endosymbiosis, of cells living inside other cells. It is possible that an ancient cell engulfed another, but instead of digesting the second cell, uh, that a symbiotic relationship developed in which one cell lived inside another, and this was the ancestor of the nucleus. Often, larger cells engulf smaller cells, such as bacteria, and the bacteria are then digested. They are completely broken down for energy and nutrients, and this is the process of phagocytosis. Sometimes, however, the ingested cell is not destroyed, but instead lives inside the host cell in what is known as endosymbiosis, cells living inside other cells for mutual benefit. This is known to occur in a number of situations, and it is thought to be the origin of mitochondria. It is thought that an ancient cell engulfed a bacteria, and instead of breaking it down, uh, this bacteria then became, over time, the mitochondria, living inside cells and uh, reproducing every time a cell divides, so that new cells had daughter mitochondria uh, resulting from the old ones dividing. There is also strong evidence that chloroplasts, what makes plants green and the structure which performs photosynthesis, are also the result of an endosymbiotic engulfing of a blue-green algae. So, a cell which already had mitochondria engulfed a blue-green alga, and that this became the ancestor of the chloroplasts, which perform photosynthesis and allow plants uh, to use the sun and live on land.